G'day everyone, welcome back to another exercise video. What we're going to go through in this exercise video today are exercises to strengthen your core and your glutes all in a standing position. Now we have done exercises for the core before. We haven't really done them in a standing position and we haven't targeted the glutes specifically in one video before either. So we're gonna go through some exercises today which are nice, quick and simple. And as always, before we get into it, make sure you do one of the warm up videos, which I'll pop up here in the corner. Okay, so when you're ready, standing next to your chair, let's get into the exercises. So first exercise we're going to start with is called a modified bird dog exercise. Now we're going to start by bringing it back a little bit before we get into the modified bird dog exercise. We're going to just do some backwards kicks. So how we're going to do this is we're going to stand up nice and tall. We're going to keep that core tight. We're going to hold on to our chair with both hands. What we're going to do is bring our knee up like this. And then from this position, it's just kicking the leg back like this. Nice and gentle. So when you're doing this exercise, I want you to focus as if there's a box behind you. And when you kick that leg back, you're pushing that box behind you. Okay, so we're going to go through eight on each side. Let's go following along with me. Up nice and tall, core tight, both hands on the chair, pushing back, excellent work. Coming forward again, knee comes up, push back, excellent work. Let's go for six more. One, two, three, notice I'm not putting my leg down, four, and last one, five, and no, actually we got one more now, let's go. Six, excellent work. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Up nice and tall. Keeping that core tight, holding on with both hands onto the chair, the knee comes up, you push back, really focus on squeezing those glutes as the leg comes back again, bring it back to the start position. Let's go, one, bring that knee up, two, excellent work, three, four, five, six, let's go two more, seven, and last one, Eight, excellent work. Now we're going to get into the modified bird dog exercise. This time we're going to kick a leg back and we're going to push an arm up. So the opposite arm to the leg we're kicking out. So we're holding on to the chair with one hand, the knee comes up and as you push that leg out, the arm comes up as well, just like that. We're going to go for five each side, following along with me. Let's go one, great work. Two, make sure your hips are in line with the chair. Three, four, and last one, five. Excellent work, let's do the same thing on the other side. Changing hands, up nice and tall, core tight, let's go. One, two, three, four, and last one, five. Excellent work, let's shake out those legs. Let's take a deep breath in and out. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do are some hip abductions. So we're going to hold on to our chair. We're up nice and tall. We're going to bring the leg out to the side like this. Remember, toes face the front throughout the exercise. Shoulders back and down, holding onto the chair. Let's go for eight repetitions, following along with me. And one, two, three, four, Five, make sure that leg's coming directly out to the side. Six, seven, and last one, eight. Excellent work. Now we're going to do some hip abductions on the other side. So toes are facing the front, leg comes out to the side. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and last one, eight. Excellent work, shaking out those legs. Taking a deep breath in, and out. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is a hip extension. So similar to what we did at the start with the kick out to the back, but this time we're gonna have our toes facing the front. We're gonna bring the leg up like this, so it's straight throughout. We hold for three seconds, bring it forward. Again, it comes back, hold for three seconds, 
Bring it back to the starting position. Okay, shoulders back and down. Keep that core tight, holding onto the chair with both hands. Let's go for five, one, two, and three. Bringing that leg back to the start position. Let's go again. Bring the leg back, hold for three seconds. Great work. Bring it back to the start position. We've got three more to go, let's go. Bring it back, keeping that leg straight. And back to the start position and two more. One, two, three, and last one. Bring that leg back and one, two, and three. Excellent work. Now we're going to do the other leg now. Up nice and tall again. Let's go for five, holding for three seconds. One, two, and three. Excellent work. Let's go again. Bring that leg back. One, two, and three. Great work. Let's go again. Bring it back. One, two, and three. And two more. Let's go. Bring it back. One, two, and three. And last one, one, two, and three. Excellent work. Shaking those legs out, taking a deep breath in and out. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is a modified plank exercise. So how this looks is like this. So this exercise is usually one we do on the floor, either on our forearms or you can even do it on your hands as well. We're going to place our hands on the chair like this. And we're just going to bring our feet back like this. Okay, so we're not letting our bottom sag. We're not bringing it out too much. We're keeping it in that neutral position. So keeping our core tight, keeping everything in line. Then we're going to come up onto the toes, bring the feet out a little bit. Keeping that core tight, we're just going to hold this position for about 20 seconds, really focusing on that core. Again, don't let your bum sag in and don't bring it out too far. Keep it in that neutral position with your hips in line with your shoulders. Excellent work. Okay, let's hold this for another 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work, let's come in. So let's have a little break now, just for five seconds, so you can shake out those legs. You can take a deep breath in, and a nice, relaxed, gentle breath out. Excellent work, okay, so let's get back into that position again. So holding onto the chair, Pushing it down on the chair, making sure the chair's not going to slide out. We're coming up onto those toes. We're not letting our buttocks sag in and we're not bringing them out like this. They're in line with our shoulders and our knees. And from this posi position, we're going to do what we did in the last exercise. Just going to bring the leg up like this. And we're going to do that five times. Let's go. One, two, keep that core tight. Three, four, and last one, five. Excellent work. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's go for five. One, two, three, four, and last one, five. Excellent work. Coming up again, shaking out those legs. We've got one more exercise to go. Taking a deep breath in and out. Okay, so the last exercise we're going to do is a squat. We're going to stand up nice and tall behind our chair, placing both hands on the chair. Our feet are just over hip width apart, about shoulder width apart. The core's tight. We're in an upright position, holding onto the chair with both hands. Remember, we sit back for the squat. We don't come forward at the knees. We're going to come just before parallel to the floor. We push up equal weight through both legs. We squeeze our buttocks at the end of the movement, and we're going to do that for 10 repetitions. Let's go. One. Really focus on pushing through with equal legs and squeezing those buttocks. Two, excellent work. Three, squeezing those buttocks at the end of the movement. Four, keeping the core tight. Five, excellent work. And let's go, five more. One. Two. Three. Four. And last one. Five. Excellent work. Coming up, shaking out those legs. Taking a deep breath in and out. And there we have a simple exercise video to strengthen the important areas of your glutes and your core. I hope you enjoyed that exercise video today. Make sure to let me know how you went down below and also make sure to like this video if you did enjoy this exercise video today and subscribe to this channel for regular exercise videos to help you improve your health and fitness. Also, head over to morelifehealth.com, sign up to the mailing list for a free four week exercise ebook to help you improve your health and fitness. And that's it from me for today. I'll catch you again soon for more exercise videos.
Until then, keep moving and I'll catch you next time.